some sparkle to your next meal with some recipes featuring your favorite bubbly. We love when you come to visit. We've got Chef Martin Capri here with one of the best restaurants in the city, Pangea. Your philosophy is always, you know, farm to table. That's right. We've and been doing that for 18 years now. Th and this Saturday, you have a very amazing charity slash um, top chef champagne enjoyment of a wine and dine sort is what it's called. We do Grand Cru and this is the 10th year that we're doing Grand Cru and so far today we've raised over 16.4 million dollars for the general for the Toronto General and Western Hospital. Amazing, congrats. Yeah. Thank so you. So how does it all unfold? How does it work? Well it starts with, uh, it started with Todd Halperin and uh, he saw a similar uh, event in the States and he thought it would work up here as well so he started it and uh, he knows a lot of uh, uh, wineries and winemakers and uh, so it starts with the wine and then he pairs them up with chefs and then the chefs take the wine from the wineries and make a menu with that. In someone's home? In somebody's home and this year it's in 15 homes. Cool. You, this is a smaller year and every second year it's a larger event. Okay. This is the 10th anniversary. So we're making a risotto. What did you start with here, Chef? So a little bit of olive oil, uh, bay leaf, and some onions. I'm okay. just going to give your stove a little more juice. So what I want to do is I just want to start simmering these a little bit. We're going to use champagne risotto. Now this was in inspired by a good friend of mine and patron, Dr. Ken Reed. Mm. Yeah. And the thing behind using um, this sort of champagne to pair it with the risotto is that you're infusing the flavor but you have to use a specific rice, the short grain arboreal rice. You can use, well, arboreal is, is what we call the lowest do, uh, common denominator. Okay. We get into the semifino nano and then we also get into the carnaroli. So what so is it's, this one? It's grated like eggs. So this is the semifino nano, so it's all perfect, all perfectly sized, all perfectly round. Okay. And so uh, see it, right it always starts with quality. And this is because these open up like a regular rice. You want them to stay intact in the risotto. It's the starchiness that you want to release, and that's why we're always working it. And never pre-rinse them. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you mentioned that. Chef, we need to know these things. We're not all like you. So now that things are simmering, I'm going to add about a cup of, of rice. This takes about 25 minutes, so I've got another pot here that I've started because okay. we're not gonna, you're not going to give me that much time, are you? Right, I wish we could. So I want to toast the rice. And once the rice gets nice and toasty. How do you know when it's toasty? It when you start looking brown. for it and it looks like toast, you know, on the outside, a little bit brown. Okay, a little crisp. Yeah, and then the, the grains of rice go a little translucent. Now, now, you don't want this on too high a heat. You don't want it to char. You, you want to start off on medium high, and, and that's a good comfort zone because if you turn around to do something, it's not going to get away from you. Mm -hmm. So medium high. Don't, don't try and cook everything on high heat because it's, okay. you're just asking for trouble. And what is the trick to a great risotto? Here it is, the champagne. Well, in this case, it's a champagne. It makes a very light risotto. You can't afford to do champagne risotto every day of the week. So we, we save it for special occasions like Grand Cru or uh, New Year's. They always say do not cook with wine or champagne unless you would actually drink it, right? That's true, yes. It's the good stuff. And, and that's why I brought two glasses here, and one for you and one for me. Thanks, Chef. <laughs> Never too early. And here you have some boiling water. You have to use the um, hot water in the risotto. I use water instead of stock. Uh, Marcella Zan cooked in my kitchen for a couple of days, mm -hmm. and she's a stickler. I thought I knew a lot about risotto, and then I met her. Why does she offer water over broth? Because all the flavors speak for themselves that way. You know, the cheese, is, it's used in Grana Padano. It's, it's aged, you know, three years, so you want to taste the cheese, you want to taste the ingredients. Okay. So she's a purist, and, uh, and so I do that too, and vegetarians are very happy to hear that too. Mm -hmm. And so what you're doing is you pour just a little bit of liquid at a time, you let it evaporate, and you go through this process back and forth. Let it get absorbed, yeah. Okay, and then... So we've got, we've got the uh, menu, part of the menu that I'm going to be serving at Grand Beautiful. Crew. Uh, this is an egg topper with, filled with scrambled eggs and uh, white truffles. We've got an octopus bread salad and then we have a beef strip loin with a medley of vegetables and some shaved black truffles over that. So beautiful. And you're on the advisory board, yes, when it comes to... For ocean-wise, yeah, yes. sustainable seafood. Sustainable seafood. Yes, and the Vancouver same is true for all of your meats, your poultry, you make sure it's always from... Local sources. Yeah. Uh, we serve uh, Canadian prime, so it's not American prime or U.S. prime. How do I, how do I perfectly break that egg like you did? I'm what's glad the, you asked. What's so, the trick, Chef? So this is spring-loaded. You can't oh. go back too far. Are it's, you saying it's a Dina proof? <laughs> no. I'm saying you're going to have a lot of fun with this. Okay. So you just basically put a crack in there. Oh, wow. And then what you want to do is you just want to just trim it off a little bit along the crack. Well done. So people can enjoy your restaurant, Pangea, as always. Uh, you did say you believe they're sold out for the Wine and Dine event this Saturday, but check to be sure. TGWHF.ca for more information. Or you can have him cook for you any day of the week at Pangea. Thanks, Chef. You're welcome. Right now over to Jen at Live Eye. Smells great. Hello, guys. Thanks.
Good morning, everyone.